Hello guys, Puhu here, back with another video. This time around, how I build my Dracolite. So I got some requests on the YouTube uh, about doing a build guide on my uh, Draco. This is my best character that I do have. It is basically maxed out. Uh, the only thing I can prove in is, is mastery, so that's why I'm not uh, higher uh, power rank than I am, just because my mastery, basically. But let's just jump into what I you know, should go for as a Dracolite. And uh, yeah, so first of all, I want to say attack speed do not work on the Dracolite. So never get any attack speed uh, or anything that has anything to do with attack speed on your uh, Dracolite. So first, uh, I want to talk about the hat. As you can see, I have a Crystal 3 hat. Uh, all maxed out. Uh, it has magic find because it does not, again, need uh, attack speed or anything like that. So it, you can't get, you would probably get energy regen if you could, but you can't. So movement speed is also a second one. It's basically just like the Shadow Hunter as well. Um, so this is my this is my hat. You can see here is my uh, staff. And again, I go for energy regen because you do want to get a, a decent amount of energy regen. You you can go less energy regen on your um, on your gear and your allies and stuff like that, depending on how many uh, 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 dragons you have and which dragons. Because there is some dragons that do give some. Uh, I'm not sure if I can find one real quick. Uh, I don't know which one. There, there's there's few of them that actually give some uh, energy region. I can't find one right now, of course. Uh, but there's some dragons that do give that. So uh, if you have those dragons, for example, those are going to compensate for what you don't. So then you can get something else, basically. That's why dragons are great uh, to acquire for the Dragon Light, at least. And here you can see my face. Again, I'm going for the movement speed. But here, of course, I go for the magic damage. I would have not had the magic find uh, here if I could get also uh, magic damage here. Uh, again, not really going into the light at all. So into my ring, I have a level 5 ring with magic damage and crit hit. It's because all of my gems, and I'll show you right there, I actually did not get a 100% crit uh, without this here, uh, you know, uh, gem or this, uh, what's it called, ring, right? Uh, so I will show my stats in the end and talk about a little bit so you can see them and then you can pause the video when we get to that. But I will show my stats again when we get to there. Let me talk about allies. So what I use is the perfect penguin. And again, uh, it's mostly because of the magic damage percent. You can also use, uh, where is it at, the chronomancer cubesly. But century, well, your ultimate is great, but you don't you don't really have any other uh, cooldown reduction needed. So that's why you want to go for the perfect penguin. Also nice with the 15% uh, you know, health and also the boost to movement speed. That's really nice as well. So that's a perfect penguin. I also want to tell, talk about if you are missing, for example, energy regen uh, in the beginning, you can also go with the flame dancer. It gives you a lot of crazy energy regen and you can keep up your Draco babies basically. Uh, uh, but uh, again, it, you, you lose out on 20% magic damage. So if you, you know, this would be a, a, a basically a not as a good choice as the other one. All right. So we talked about that. I'm going to talk about flask. Flask, you can use basically whatever flask you want to. But I use, of course, Death Define because I also use this as my carry class. I carry Shadow Towers every single Monday, Ultra Towers. So if you guys want to do that, you can come by the stream on when Mondays and get your Shadow Towers carried. Anyways, the Death Define is really nice because uh, it also, uh, well, it basically stacks with all of the subclass that I will also talk about in a little bit. Uh, but let's talk emblems. Uh, you always want to use the Arcane or the other one that is from the store. Those is a must. I've talked about this many times on the stream and also in other videos. Uh, these two emblems are the go-to on any character. It's always the best. So if you at least get that one, you're all at least half right on what uh, emblems to use. Uh, my second emblem, I use the Unwielding. And this, every time I use a potion, I get a brief invulnerable shield. Uh, basically, this only helps so I don't... Uh, basically take damage and take a damage again and use my po potion too fast so it gives me the shield for a while and then it can you know kind of uh, you know mitigate how many potions I use in a big fight like uh, shadow towers and stuff like that uh, but you can use basically uh, all, many others but again nothing like for example the berserker which gives you attack speed uh, 
really don't want to use that attacks but you could use some of the minions you can also use sure strike if you're missing the crit hit that's also viable uh to get that last percent but if you're over 80 percent crit hit don't use the sure strike try to get uh something else uh you can use here uh it's not a big difference it's, it's, a, it's a small difference but you know i you know it can make a bigger difference if you do have the you know basically going into the min maxing of the things all right so uh the next thing is of course the uh the flash charges i'm using the knights uh knights uh subclass uh i would get more uh damage out of the 750 from the uh from the shadow sorry shadow hunter and which one else there's some one other one that also gets 750 i'm pretty sure yeah and also of course the the ice age it also gives you a shield uh but the shield is also quite nice but uh you do have enough shields as it is uh, i will get into that when we get into the to the gems that i use and um, but yes the i use the uh of course the uh the class uh, the, the knights uh, subclass and if you want to get six uh, flash charges all you have to do with the the knight is to get it to level 30. Uh, so all the small ones below here the power rank does not have any uh you know change to this the only what it does for the knight subclass is basically that you move faster when you are on a mount so that doesn't really count when you're <laughs> fighting monsters right but basically this is the first site here uh things that i use on here uh now let's go into the gym so all gyms are based are perfect it's 100 percent uh, perfect i augment them all and going uh you know uh, into all of that as, as i talked about in a different video of course you want 100 to acquire your class gem that makes you so your dino babies uh, spawn every time you use your number one ability and it just shoots it you know it's absolutely needed and they do so amazing damage um i use the cube uh the cube is pretty awesome it gives you a shield to avoid a lot of damage if you're carrying shadow towers for example i also went with the barrier and as i've heard they don't stack but I haven't found another uh, cosmic gem that I want uh, for now. I really want the vampiric one, uh, but I haven't gotten a good one yet. So we'll see if I switch it out or just keep it. But you just want to get this one or this one. So that's why I said there's a lot of shields. You don't need more. I could test it out if it actually does anything uh, with the shield. That's actually kind of funny or interesting to, to actually see what's going on. Uh, of course, the lesser ones doesn't really matter. Those are also perfect. Go in a Ken, of course, for uh, magic damage, uh, crit hit, and crit damage. When you get the boost on them on level 5, 10, and 15, I've talked about this before, uh, you want to get uh, two boosts on your magic damage, and you want to get one boost on your uh, critical damage. And you don't want to get any boosts on your uh, crit hit. And for your cosmic gems, of course, again, you don't want any boosts on your light stats you don't need uh you need, when you get maximum uh cosmic gems and cosmic or sorry uh, crystal gear uh, as you can see with my stats i have 3821 light and that is more than enough to farm shadow uh, sorry uh your 10 and, and whatnot so so definitely don't go for that it, it's really nice to get some leave it by while you're still farming like crystalline and stuff like that but in the end you want to get away from light as much as you can basically and for the other one i also have the explosive explosive is also required so uh you could use something else like this you could maybe use like a pyro disc if you want to do that uh or a stinging curse you could also do that but uh the explosive is also 100 percent required because it does the explosion so when you defeat something it does the explosion and you want to of course clump up as many enemies as you can and then of course if you can get them to uh, take that explosion damage it's pretty pretty awesome so basically going over every single thing here i don't know if i missed anything i don't think i did um if you want to pause the video you can just do that uh I will like slowly go over these uh, so you can pause it. Uh, of course, this is a class gym, so you know that one. But yeah, I went over that. And also the gear, again, uh, you can see basically all of these. And again, the perfect penguin is there. And of course, the, the ring cannot be more than Stellar 5. Uh, if you have enough uh, crit hit without the uh, the sorry without the ring uh you can go for energy regen instead and go for that uh there is i don't know what the threshold is but as much as you can get uh you can have up to five or six dino babies 
And when you get like the seventh, the sixth or the seventh, it's basically going to despawn. So what it does is that when you can see, I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw down my babies. And as you can see, they are basically slowly uh, lose their health over time. But if I have too many, they're just going to basically, uh, you know, despawn. So when I spawn some more, uh, see if I can't get them. So you can see they, they just basically... Uh, uh, die off basically so they disappear even though they're not completely dead so as I can see right here I have five so it's basically five so when you get the sixth one uh, that is going to be be it and of course this is the ultimate <laughs> anyways that's enough uh, with the shenanigans anyways uh, I hope you guys oh yeah I remember to show my stats these are my stats uh, and you can also see my core efficiency and, and stuff like that um, uh, but yeah this is my core efficiency. This, if somebody knows what the core efficiency stat is, there's something, a mod that you can see kind of how your magic damage holds up against your uh, critical damage and stuff like that. But these are the stats that I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this build guide. I hope I didn't forget anything. If I did, make sure you guys comment below and also remember to uh, subscribe and like this video so we can get more people to see the build. Anyways, again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.